I think step one, just immerse yourself in whatever it is that like you feel like you can come up with at least two to three key content pillars to be able to like talk about in a knowledgeable and um, educational, entertaining way. Like how can you not just like get attention, but sustain attention? Um, There's a lack of simplification in the space. So the more that you can take these really complex pieces of, you know, knowledge and simplify it for people, that actually creates approachability. Um, And when you create approachability, there's more people that are willing to like engage with you and say, hey, that's like a really interesting way, you know, to look at things. Um, So the second piece is then, you know, uh, implement like implementing different, like you're going to have to find your own voice basically, Um, because you could have a really, really good piece of like, like a mental model, right. That you might be willing to share with your audience that really positions you as a subject matter expertise. But if your delivery is, you know, flawed, like, and by delivery, what I really mean is your tone, the way you're expressing it, uh, how you take pauses, um, the speed at which you're talking, like all of those things could be the things that are like blocking you from actually creating a connection with your audience. So being able to like find, I know it sounds cheesy, but the delivery aspect, finding your authentic voice is super key. The third piece is like, how do you best communicate, right? Like, so um, there, you know, some people are great at video. Other people are great at like writing simplified pieces of text, especially on like LinkedIn to capture attention. Again, it's connected to the finding your voice thing. And then I'd say the last thing is just do whatever you need to do to create consistency, but don't just be consistent about the things that are essentially like that you can be consistent about, like be intentional with what's working. So be consistent about the things that are working and drop the things that aren't working. And over time, you know, um, essentially, if you want to be proactive and there's like B2B companies that you want to be able to work with, you could be the one to like reach out to them and share the insights that you have around the audience just by like making noise and listening for signal by how your audience has responded to contact to content. Now you're in the position to reach out to B2B companies and say, hey, this is why I think we would be a fit. Here's what I know about your audience. Here's why I am sitting on in, on top of like a highly important and relevant audience for your brand. And here's how we can work together. I'd say those would be my suggestions.